Are you tired of the high price of vegan and plant-based mayonnaise? Yes. The prices are outrageous Crazy. in the store. So we have come up with a great little recipe to mm -hmm. make some homemade plant-based vegan mayonnaise and it is, only takes five simple ingredients and we can whip it up in just a jiff. We're going to show you guys how to do this really quick. But first, welcome back to our channel, Living the Alleyway. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Michael. Stick around. We're going to show you guys how to get this mayonnaise whipped up quick. And we're also going to show you a great little sandwich at the end. So stay tuned. And it's going to be in condiment condition. Mm. <laughs> condiment condition. Okay. Here we go. The first thing we're going to use is the juice or the liquid of a can of garbanzo beans. And what that is called is aquafaba. And one can of garbanzo beans, the aquafaba is going to give us about three quarters of a cup. So we're just going to go into the blender jar here and add all of the liquid from the can of chickpeas. And then we're going to open up the can. We're going to need one tablespoon, just a few of the garbanzo beans to go into this. So I'm going to put about, about a tablespoon right on into the blender. And then we're going to go in with about two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, about a half of a large lemon. The next ingredient is going to be Dijon mustard. And all we're going to do is just open up the cap and put in about a half tablespoon, just about a half tablespoon, not too much, into the blender. Close that up. And I'm going to put the lid on the blender, nice and tight, see if I can get it the first time. Look at that, I did! How many times have I had to do that 14 times before I could get it to work? About 14 times. <laughs> About 14 times. So I'm just going to go on blend and I'm going to blend it until these chickpeas are nice and smooth, pulverized. About 10 seconds or so. We're going to take this off. All right, I'm going to take over from here and what we're going to do is use about Half a cup, you said? About a one and a half cup. One and a half cups of uh, chosen pure avocado oil. So I'm going to actually take it out of this blender. We had to put it in here to make sure the chickpeas were emulsified. So I will put everything down at the bottom here. I am going to take the immersion blender and put it in here. And we'll keep it in here and I'm going to pour slowly the avocado oil until it gets thick. It was moving a little bit, so I'm going to take this blue towel, put it on here so it doesn't twist. Then we'll start it again. It's getting halfway there. And here is a mayonnaise. It's gotten a little warm from the um, mixing, so we're going to put it in the fridge and cool it off a little bit. So we have one last step. We need to go in with our salt. Okay, let's do that salt then. And it's just a half teaspoon of salt. Half te teaspoon of salt. And just go in and mix it. And I think it's, uh, we just mix, last time we just mixed it until it was well incorporated and it's done. Yeah, okay. just to get that little bit of salt flavor. All right, so it was about a cup and a half of oil. And then we added the salt and it is a beautiful consistency. That is so pretty, see. my goodness. Oh man, <laughs> that tastes wonderful. It tastes better than vegan A's. Yeah. Yeah, there are a few brands like vegan A's, there's Follow Your Heart, and even some of the name brands now. It doesn't like best, I've seen Best or somebody, I forget who it is. Best Foods. Best Foods, it's making yeah. a, a vegan mayonnaise now too. All right, so we will go ahead and get this into the fridge and let it cool off a minute, and we will be back. We let this sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes just so it could nice, get nice and cool and thicken up a little bit more. And it's just beautiful. Um, I was going to tell you guys, remember when Michael put the salt in earlier? We are in beautiful Jamaica Beach, Texas, which is about 15 miles west of Galveston, which is south of Houston. You can see we've rented a beautiful beach house with a lovely kitchen and uh, the advertisement said they would have salt and pepper. <laughs> we got down here and there's no salt and pepper. I guess somebody may have lifted it before we got here so and that makes you a little salty doesn't it It makes me stay salty yes <laughs> um so i am actually my sweet husband got a couple of packets of salt and pepper when we were out uh, the other day 
So I actually had to use these to put the salt in here, so that's why we have the salt and pepper. So we're celebrating our 29th anniversary and wedding anniversary, and again, we're in Jamaica Beach. It's beautiful. We'll show you guys a couple of clips of the outside if you ever want to come down here and um, spend some time. But I'm going to go ahead and get this, the bread right now. We toasted up some bread. We told you guys that we're going to make a nice little sandwich, so we're going to show you a beautiful little homemade BLT. So first thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of this mayonnaise, and I'm, I'm going to use the spoon. It's still a little bit, it will thicken the longer you leave it in the fridge. So I'm just going to put a little bit on each side of the bread. And this stuff tastes incredible. It tastes better, I'm going to say, and Michael, you probably agree, it tastes better than any jarred uh, vegan mayonnaise I've ever tasted. And we put the extra lemon in there, so it tastes mm -hmm. a little like Duke, like we used to have all the time. Duke's, Duke's mayonnaise, mayonnaise, yeah, they have that really lemony flavor, and this is just, and the salt, just the saltiness is just perfect, it's seasoned just right. Um, and you would never know there were garbanzo beans in this, you would never know there were chickpeas, and like I said, the liquid from a can of chickpeas is called aquafaba. And you can make whipped cream out of aquafaba, you can make, what do we Anything have? eggs have, yeah. you can do eggs. Probably. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just gonna spread that on there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the sandwich now. We have some tofu bacon that we made recently. Um, I'll, we're gonna make a video for this pretty soon. I don't have a video yet, but I will put the recipe down below for you guys if you'd like to go ahead and take a shot at making it. It's really good. It tastes just like bacon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use like six slices. All right, then we're gonna take a few slices. I like my tomato very thinly sliced when I have a BLT. Michael could eat a BLT any day of the week, and he eats a lot of these vegan BLTs. Trust me, he's, it's one of his favorite foods, favorite sandwiches on the planet. So I'm just gonna put some lettuce on here. I just have some fresh romaine lettuce. I'm gonna put the top on, push it down just a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna plate this up for Michael and let him do a taste test for you guys. I'm gonna taste it too, but I know he is the king of the BLT. So we're gonna let him I'm have gonna a shot I'm gonna come right it. over here. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. All right. I love these so much. <laughs> mm. That mm. crunchy toast, oh, and that crunchy vegan bacon. And I know the tomato so good. The gives tomato. it, oh, it just mm. gives it such a good flavor. Salty and the mayonnaise is amazing. Can I have mm. a bite of your sandwich? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do have to struggle to get some of these sometimes. Mm. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. Yes. Mm. Wonderful. The tomato's cool. Yes. And that mayonnaise flavor, it just comes through. This was so good, and I'm so glad you guys joined us today. You guys need to make some of this mayonnaise. It is mm. so good. It's so creamy. It's so tasty. And it's got that little bit of lemon in it, a little bit of salt. It's seasoned perfectly. Beautifully, and it's so yes. inexpensive. Those vegan mm -hmm. mayonnaises that you buy at the store, first of all, you don't really know what goes into them. They probably right. have a list of ingredients that you can't even pronounce. You know exactly what goes into this. It's Yes, all natural. All natural, quick to make, inexpensive, and it'll last in the fridge for weeks, I would say. Yeah. A couple, well, not, not with me there, no. <laughs> That's so true. How many more BLTs will you go through? Yeah. 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 Thank you for hanging out with us on our 29th anniversary. We are so mm -hmm. excited. Um, we're planning a trip to Paris next year, so we'll probably be doing some cooking when we go over no, there. we are trying to we. We're planning a trip to <laughs> we. We, yeah. Pun man. Getting ready, sorry. Yeah, we're planning that out now. But it's so good having you with us today. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you. We thank you for watching. Yes, we do. If you enjoyed this video today, give it a big thumbs up. It really does help out our mm -hmm. channel. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, Living the Alley Way, Please do so. No spaces. Live in the alleyway. No spaces left. No. <laughs> there are plenty of spaces left. <laughs> We'd love to have you become a part of our YouTube family and make sure and hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. Again, happy anniversary. I love you. I it's love been you 29 too. great years. And we love all of you. We love all you guys too. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.